In last week's video, I showcased how to run Llama 2 locally on your MacBook in just a few minutes. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to use the same techniques to run the new Code Llama models. First, we'll start by running Zet mount against our Code Llama repo. Now that we've mounted the repo, we're ready to use llama.cpp with the following flags to run the 2-bit quantize code llama instruct model. This is one of the smallest models that you can run and has the least compute requirements. So it's a good model to start out with. I'm going to ask the model to generate a SQL query for me with a specific request and a specific table format as well. Now keep in mind, this is going to take a few minutes because it has to download the model files behind the scenes for us, but subsequent inferences are fast. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. And we have a response. It's interesting to see some leakage from what looks like the underlying data set, probably Stack Overflow. So we can actually see someone that looks to be asking a question and getting a response. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, these are some of the challenges of working with quantized models is uh, they can do the, they can generate these types of interesting uh, behaviors. Let's see if the same model, the same code llama instruct model, but quantized with eight bits instead of two bits, gives us a more satisfying response to the same exact prompt that we gave the two bit quantized version. And we'll skip ahead this time as well. This time we got a useful query. We actually have a sample table. And right after this, we'll see a, a valid SQL query, um, which is great. Uh, could be the benefit of the 8-bit quantization. As you can tell, these models are a lot of fun to play with. To continue exploring with the Code Llama models, check out the accompanying blog post in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.